Hi guys, I thought I'd try an experiment and grow some celery in my garden tower. And I was actually pretty happy with the way it turned out. This one had three seedlings growing out of it. And I thought I'd just plant it like that to see what would happen instead of picking two of them out and just leaving one. But looking back, it probably should have just been one as it looks very overcrowded. I probably would space the celery out a bit. So I've got it planted in every um, spot where I'd probably change that and maybe alternate spots either side just to give it a little bit more room. I also thought I'd try growing some broccolini as I thought broccoli itself might be too heavy but broccolini might work and they seem to be growing really nice. My tower did run out of water this morning so you can see the leaves are slightly droopy but now I've filled it up they'll come back just fine got no no worries about that but they're growing really nicely um, the stems look really nice and strong the leaves are big um, I don't know how long it's going to be till they're actually ready to harvest because I've never grown broccolini before but they seem to be doing well but I'm looking forward to eating some of this celery soon one thing I noticed this morning when I was looking over the plant was that I had some aphids and other little pests on there, which I'm not sure what they are. But uh, it's been about a week since I last looked at the tower, hence why it ran out of water this morning. Um, now, they weren't there last time, but um, they're uh, on there now. So I need to sort that problem out. When I had a closer look, I was quite intrigued. I didn't realise there were so many different types of bugs on there. So the little round green coloured ones are the aphids, but I don't know what the spidery looking ones are. And there's obviously a fly sort of looking ones as well. So um, I'm pretty sure the treatment is the same for all of them, but it uh, was just surprising to see that many on there. So I'm going to use this organic eco oil and uh, spray it on the leaves of the plants, especially the undersides, because that's where most of the bugs are hiding. And um, then, yeah, see how that goes. I, I don't like it using poisons or anything nasty. I try and keep it all organic. So uh, I'll give that a shot and see how it goes. It also attracts good bugs that eat the aphids, like ladybugs. I found one luckily on there and this is awesome that I filmed it. There's a aphid right there and it comes along, picks it off and eats it. I'm so excited that I actually got this on video. But I could only find one ladybug on the bush. It sort of seems cruel to kill all the aphids now that uh, it'll take away all their food. Seeing that it is a her maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, it made me very excited to find this aphid vacuum cleaner on my uh, celery. You can also just pick off the most infected parts and uh, throw them out or give them to the chickens. Lastly, I just wanted to show you, this photo is about half an hour after I filmed the bit earlier where you could see the droopy leaves and they've bounced straight back and look really nice and healthy now that they've got a little bit of water. So uh, if you do run out of water and everything looks really droopy and not that good, stick some more water in and usually it uh, bounces straight back. That's all from me for today. Thanks heaps for watching. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about or if you have any questions. But uh, yeah, happy gardening.